This is Once to Watch Chef's Choice, and it's cocktail hour. We are joined hey. by Malvika. Hi. How are you Rockland. doing, Abby? I'm doing great. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. This as is well. Bridget as well. Bridget. Bridget. Yeah. Hey. Yes, Bridget, Valley Gal Pal. I just, Valley any of, uh, all of the above. I love what, it. Whatever flows in the moment. <laughs> Do you have any nicknames? We've been talking about nicknames yeah. today. I mean, I feel like everyone just makes it up. The, the OG one from back home is Malu. Malu, <laughs> I like Malu. that. Yeah. Malu, that one's got a little spice. Uh -huh. It's a little, uh, yeah, Malu. yeah. It's got a little island mm -hmm. touch to it, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, it's Mal, Mala, Mala. You know, Mal. What do you Mal. prefer? Yeah. What do you like? A anything really. I'm not really. I'm not that particular. It's uh -huh. like whatever, whatever you're feeling, you know. Whatever mm -hmm. you're feeling, whatever's whatever natural. Just don't butcher the Malvika. That's all. Malvika. But even that, I'll Malvika. take it the first few times. No, you shouldn't Mal. take it. <laughs> Malvika. Malvika. Just the first time, at least the mm -hmm. first time. And I feel like we're in an age where like get it together. Like it's someone's name. If you can yeah. say something else, you can say someone's fucking name. Like no, for sure. <laughs> and what sometimes I think of people just reading, and it's mm -hmm. also like. If you're dyslexic, I mean, you can't blame, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, sure, sure, sure. You're being really very nice. I mean, it can happen. Like, I mean, uh -huh. I know a few people. And so it's, mm -hmm. it's hard. Like, you want to see it right, uh -huh. but you can't, uh -huh. you know? So it is, it is what it is. So I feel like mm -hmm. there's a little room for error. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're definitely in the day mm -hmm. and age of, like you said, you know. Let's start from the very beginning. Did you know you were going to do music? Yeah, always. I mean, I, I loved performing, you know, from a young age. I, my mom was a stage mom and she put me into mm. like all these shows. I was doing speeches and mm -hmm. just the, the welcome speech at schools and events Aww. and things. You know, I was that kid. Uh -huh. But then it transitioned into, okay, I want to, you know, be dancing. I want to sing. Mm -hmm. I, wow. you know, want to act and, you know, do a little do theater. It all. Do, do it, it all. all. Do, do it, it all. all. Do it all. And no and social anxiety. <laughs> you said, put I me mean, in the front. <laughs> I mean, I guess it was, I mean, you're always a little nervous, but then mm -hmm. eventually... I, and it, it, what's strange is I never wanted her to be in the crowd. I, I feel like what? I would I would break performance if I saw her. I was <gasps> like, be there, but hide somewhere. I don't want to see That's you. So interesting. Honestly, kind of same. Like, yeah. I will do it. I will perform in front of strangers. But like, I feel like I know how people think. I know how my parents would think. Right. So that I'm like, oh my god, their their comments. Going well, in even my just head. with like TikTok and stuff, because I'll post, and when I see uh -huh. someone I know from high school viewing my yes. profile, I'm like, I'm yes. mortified. Uh -huh. But right, a million yeah. strangers could look at it, uh -huh. and I don't You're give totally a shit. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what it is about that, right? It's because it feels it's like so they know me too uh -huh. well somehow. I'm like, you saw me when uh -huh. I was 10 years old. I and was like, vulnerable. I'm yeah, not no, the literally. person that I was at 10 years old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, yeah. for real. So yeah, I mean, even at three, I would be like, I would just break out into tears or oh. just, or just lose it. So she was like, okay, I got to stay. Even though we would rehearse, uh -huh. you know, whatever it was together yeah. uh -huh. at that age. And, uh -huh. um, but I'm glad, I'm glad for the push. Like, you know, I, I know it can be different for mm -hmm. each child, but mm -hmm. it worked out well for me and I'm grateful for that. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just happy to finally be, you know, making music uh -huh. and releasing it. Yeah. No, I Big props to Momager. Yeah. I know, Momager. Right? <laughs> she killed it. I mean, she you're, really did. Yeah. You're doing amazing. Across the seven seas and uh -huh. I'm here now. So <laughs> yeah. Is she back home? <laughs> she's yeah. She's back home. Do you see her often? Yeah. I mean, relatively, I mm -hmm. would say. Yeah. That's yeah. Hard. Despite COVID and everything, you know, I mean, it's a, right. it's a long ass flight. I was going to say, say yes. Yeah, you can say yes. You can do whatever you want. So where's home? Like, are yeah. you in LA? Like, I mean, now I'm based in LA, but yeah, nice. I grew up in India primarily, and mm -hmm. then just a little baby pit stop in Dubai right before I mm -hmm. went to college in Boston. Uh -huh. And uh, I mean, I had to get an education. That was the rule mm -hmm. from the Indian parents. It was like, of course, get a degree. I don't uh -huh. care what it is. <laughs> whatever so like, you do, as long like as you music. get it. <laughs> right. I'll take it. I know. I was like, at least something in the lane of where I want to go. And uh -huh. they were like, okay, cool, but you can't be that artist that drops out, you have to do mm -hmm. the full four years, uh -huh. you know? And I was like, okay, okay. You and have to so commit. I did. You just have to commit. But I'm kind of glad because mm -hmm. I, I feel like in a way it brings some sort of discipline into us crazy creative brains. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we will just venture off into 20 like mm -hmm. sub projects if there's exactly. not an end goal somewhere. Mm -hmm. For sure. So it brings some structure, I guess, you know? Yeah. yeah. How did you like Berkeley? Mm -hmm. I mean, no, go ahead. No, go ahead. <laughs> I was going to say for context, we both went to Berkeley. I yeah, feel like that's we probably crazy. had very different experiences because mine was in the age of COVID. Oh, oh yes. gosh. But yeah. Ugh. I'm curious to hear about yours. Um, I, honestly, I loved it. I mean, nice. it's, yes, they do the whole thing where it's, you know, people from all over the world and mm -hmm. 
people feel so so bad college is doing that but honestly like where else can you really meet people especially in a mm -hmm. school of music yeah. people from literally all across the globe you know mm. from Madagascar and nice. from Macedonia like where am I gonna meet someone from there you mm -hmm. know besides I was gonna this, ask you did you feel like it was an accepting environment to like be from not the states like yeah. have a different culture and share your culture because mm -hmm. like I, I grew up in the suburbs of New Jersey I And have a very different mm -hmm. perspective on it. Yeah. I mean, I think, I, I think, uh, you know, some people, it depends on who you are, you know, as a person. Cause I feel like some people just get comfortable sticking to their own yep. people, you mm -hmm. know, when they, when they move out and then there's others who venture out. I was yep. just someone, I mean, I love my own people, but I also mm -hmm. wanted to meet, you know, this is a once in a yeah. lifetime experience. Right. And so I wanted to make the most of it. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it was, it, it, it did seem like, especially cause there's so many ensembles where there's world music mm -hmm. and, I feel like there's people from all cultures in, in that. And so that's, that's just fun too. And yeah. there's no talk. It's not cultural appropriation. It's just all love and <laughs> acceptance and, you know, just sharing mm -hmm. the music. And yeah, I felt very fortunate because I definitely grew up in a sheltered environment where I did not have access to anything other than like the pop hits my parents were playing on the radio. Right. And I learned so much and kind of had it like Same. slap me in the face a bit, right. which I mm -hmm. think I needed at 18 who doesn't Absolutely. yeah no for sure i mean you think you know at least a little something and you're like oh shit <laughs> i know a little nothing <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so did your parents exactly. like have an influence in your music today or like who influences yeah. your music the most oh my yeah. gosh i feel like i feel like i mean it, it's grown and evolved but yeah thank thank god for them having great tastes even though unfortunately they can't sing uh <laughs> but I Damn. love them for playing the greatest music. It was <laughs> Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, oh. you know, Tina Turner, Mariah Carey, Janet, um, yeah, like all it's of those I can queen, hear in your music, you know, Queen, and and so um, yeah, just great, and then a lot of Indian music, of course, you know, and I'm I'm from South India, so there's of course there's Bollywood, which is you know Hindi predominantly, and then there's regional languages. So I was listening to music in Tamil, Malayalam, Telugu, and in Hindi and Punjabi. So it was wow. just it's just all of this together, and um, and I loved all of it to be honest, like you know. Yeah. I think, um, yeah, that all that shaped me. And then going to Berkeley too and doing Bulgarian music and, you know, nice. things like that. So it was, You're it doing was just a little bit of everything. A little bit of a lot. Yeah. You, got, you just got to dapple in it while mm -hmm. you can, you know? So I'm just, I'm here for the full experience and just want to make the most of it. So, yeah. It's cool to see where like two wildly contrasting influences meet in the middle for an artist like you. Like you are a pop powerhouse oh thank you it's it, no it's fucking incredible and your visuals i wanted to talk i mean like look at your outfit <laughs> right now Dude, you're slain. yeah we thank saw you, you so from much. i was like i can't wait to talk about her outfit like yeah. oh, thank you, you does, does fashion know. play a role <laughs> thank like, you so in, much yeah. Uh, yeah yeah i mean absolutely i'm obsessed with uh i'm obsessed with clothing and you know, style and makeup and, you know, hairstyle, just playing, playing around. And also I work with some dope people, you know, every now and then I get to mm -hmm. work with amazing creatives in LA. So this shout out to Damaris Flores for Ooh. helping me put this together. Um, yeah. Incredible. Yeah, yeah. So this how are like you liking normal. LA? Um, I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is the first normal year post COVID because I moved here in 2019. Oh, and wow. Right before, <laughs> right before the world ended. Oh gosh. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. So it was, but it, I mean, it wasn't all bad. I mean, at least for me, I mean, I think, I think it sucked that, you know, things were slow because that was when I was about to drop music. So things just got a little bit delayed and this is really my, this is that year for me. But yeah, but I, I feel like you just get to sit with yourself, you know, practice, learn, grow, and also just the beauty of nature and going to the beach and going skiing the same day, which I did do when I first moved really? here. Really? Nice. Literally went to Big Bear and then went to Malibu the exact same day. Just to say you can do it because where else yes. can you do that? Not you I know, think it's like a, it's like a California challenge thing, right? I, like yeah, you hit that. the beach, you hit, hit the mountains, and mountains. then where else? I don't know. The desert? The desert. Yeah. 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 You go to a Barney's Beanery? <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. I love Barney's Beanery. Let me just Ooh. say. I love a dive bar. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, there's so many here. Do you have oh a gosh. spot here that you like? A bar? Where's your go-to spot? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Food, I feel like bar, anywhere. Uh, like, I mean, like, as you heard from everything I said before, I love trying new things and it's, mm. it's endless, but what did I, this place in downtown that I went to eat at, it's called girl and the goat girl and the oh, goat. girl and the goat. What does that entail? It was just like a fusion. I mean, I feel like it was like Asian fusion, but just 
kind of, uh, you know, what, what do they call it? New American, you know, fair. Yes. <laughs> new new <laughs> American <laughs> fair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You know, contemporary, whatever. I yeah. mean, like, a fusion. Yeah. but it was, it was really good. Mm-hmm. It was breakfast, but nice. it was this omelet with rice in it. And oh, this um, is a food podcast now. This is it a food is. podcast it is. now. It is. And I was like, I was like, oh, wow, this is interesting. So that's what I mean. You try and there's just so much, I, again, so many cultures. It's like great Ethiopian food. There's great Indian food. Yes. You know, you just have to know the right places. Yes. The yeah. Indian food now. You know, you gotta know the right places. Mm-hmm. You have to know the right places. <laughs> I don't know the right places yet. There, well, you'll, you'll find it. Which part? Of, what part of town are you I'm in? I'm in WeHo. Okay. We no, there's, there's some. You? I'm in downtown LA. Damn, you're doing yeah. the downtown traffic. You're. I <laughs> you love drove it. an hour and a half here I know, today. I did. Where, where did you drive from? <laughs> I'm in near Pasadena area, Rosemead. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, oh, that's beautiful. It's. I mean. I thank God I'm work from home. I'm here like every now and then, but like traffic, dude. It's oh yeah, traffic. It, is. it is. I mean, like it's it's a topic everyone talks about. Hot take. Yeah. I kind of it's like nice. being able to sit in my car sometimes. and listen to music. <laughs> I, I need to decompress. I, I feel I guess so. That's if I'm good. like running from one thing to the next, and I get thirty minutes to, like, I won't listen to music sometimes in my car. I'm like, I'm gonna sit here. You need to be calm <laughs> in my isolation yes. chamber. No, I feel right. you. No, my, oh my, my safe space, especially if, like you have a roommate or something. My safe space, my car. Yes. Um, I'll park outside my apartment yes, and sit in my car exactly. for 15 minutes. <laughs> that's that's, that's it, free it therapy. It's, yeah. I mean, literally. Uh, that's yeah. free therapy. Free therapy. Music or podcasts yes. or anything. Really, yeah. What, you know. When you get in the car, what's the playlist you turn on? I am, I mean, I'm a 2000s, early 2000s love. girl. So Say everything, less. you know, I mean, 50 Sam Beyonce, oh, you know, course. J-Lo, Mariah Carey. I mean, just, yeah, everything Timbaland produced and, you know, Pharrell, Jay-Z, Kanye. Yeah. Just that whole. That's a good yeah. car vibe. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's oh the my car gosh. I want to get in we're, we're going out to the bar. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's me and the She's AM, I feel like. She's a pregame car. <laughs> it starts like that when I wake up. It's like that is that energy. It's like, rah, like right in the morning, you know, the get go. There's no easing into it. Mm-mm. No, no, no. no we just got to get straight. <laughs> To it. I'm pumped for your performance. No, we are we are excited. <laughs> we we know it's gonna be like hot, ready. Like it's gonna be so fucking it's good. It's gonna be great. <laughs> yeah. Thank so you, you have excited. three songs out right now. Are we hearing do, any yeah. new ones tonight? Yes, actually. Any yeah. you're excited about releasing soon? Oh Question my gosh. Mark? Yeah. Well, there's another. I'm not. Re- I'm not playing that one yet. So the next one, I'm okay. super excited about. Uh-huh. And um, yeah. I mean, so for the thing about me is, I mean, I love really really singing but at the same time i'm an up-tempo girl so i need mm-hmm. i need a little bounce you know all the yeah. time so <laughs> i feel that so the next one is we're getting into the balance again a lot more okay. so yeah yeah yes. i mean which i feel like overdrive which just came out still has a little bounce to it even though it's chill i was gonna know? say she's just bouncing that's <laughs> yeah, for sure yeah. that's what i mean even my chill has a little bounce to it but but there's also some you know more stripped down ballads you know mm-hmm. yeah i mean traditional but make it me yeah. I love that. <laughs> quote yeah. that. Quote that. Traditional, quote. but make it me. I, yeah, we're, we're keeping that. We'll put that on a t-shirt. Yeah, we'll put that on a t-shirt. On a mug. <laughs> Dude. So, okay. So yeah. we know you're, you like early 2000s. Do mm-hmm. you have a specific song that you love? You know, like guilty like, pleasure that's yeah. not guilty. Like oh my gosh. put your records on. Oof. That's my therapy. Like, and I just have to hear it. Uh, I think in the club, 50 Cent or Candy Shop. I don't know. Okay. I don't know what it is. I don't know. That's like not even embarrassing though. That's respectable. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, no, I put sure. on like early 2000s pop punk and I feel like that's not okay. No. It's oh my gosh. No, that was great too. I mean, that was a big part of like what I listened to as well. I mean, it's and Avril Lavigne and oh. the early Paramore stuff. Oh my gosh. Did you have an emo phase? Crush, crush, crush. <gasps> crush, crush, crush. Oh yes. my God. Yeah, that was Emo everything. phase? Bangs. Yeah, absolutely. Really? absolutely. And, I mean, dark eyes. I mean, I feel like eyeliner is just a part of our culture anyways, mm-hmm. but it was just, yeah, I felt like for, that was, I think, I mean, I guess because I was so infiltrated in pop culture that I just wanted to be that for a while, you it know, was like the, the whole, Avril, yeah, I wanted, it was all Avril Lavigne songs that I auditioned with and things. And for then Berkeley? I was like, <laughs> no, no, oh no. Oh my God. <laughs> no, you should it. have. Can you <laughs> imagine? Like, right before. That's so funny. No, <gasps> no. By then it kind of had a ball where I still loved it, but it's not what I auditioned with. No, no. This you is, walk this and is you like a little skater before. boy to those pretentious judges. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. You're knocked around. <laughs> Let's do the audition probably, right now. Like, right? I know. Let's do the no, audition right now. I would have loved it. I'm dead. I'm dead. Um, but yeah, no, I loved, I loved the pop punk moment too. Yeah. It was everything. I just like something it's that It's coming like, back, I think, slowly. It, it, is. it, it is. is. It is kind of. It's it coming is. back in like the indie rock realm of things. Oh, for sure. For sure. 
well, this month, you know, is Asian Heritage Month. We're here to like celebrate the culture. Yes. Um, so do you think, you know, this, what does this month mean to you as an artist that's a person of color? Like, how's it being like a person of color in the music industry? Like, do you think, you know, it's really like a block, you know, or do you think it's like, you know, this is the new age, like, we're, we're getting our moment right now. So how no, do you feel sure. about it right now? Yeah, absolutely. No, I think this is our time. And I mean, there's also just numerically, there's so many of us in the world. You know, the Asians, there's just so much of us. So, I mean, it's time for that representation and for it to be done right. Like there's more, you know, more voices. There's so many of us, so there, the voices need to be heard. And I feel like now more than ever, it's it's louder. And, you know, everyone's getting their time, no matter where they're from, not just, you know, not just if you're Asian, of Asian heritage, but anywhere, really. I think it's it's people are more comfortable in their skin or getting to that, you know, in that space more. Mm. And I think it's a great time more than ever. And even if you do have any qualms or insecurities, it's 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 easier to step out of the shell just because there's so much going on. There's the barrier of entry is also like it's just easier in for everybody. Like, you know, you could be recording from your home and just put music out like it's it's a wild time it's to be insane. to be out here, you know, and. Yeah, I think I think that's beautiful. And it's also like a merge of genres and cultures. And it's it's a really exciting time. I think I'm, I'm excited. It is a I'm good excited. time. Like yeah. we're, we're celebrating like just, it's yeah, it's just like our time, you know? Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. I guess going to that, what was like your oh shit moment? Like I'm doing music like I'm going to take this path and I'm going to go for it. I think when I, well, so I'd come to the U.S. for my sister's wedding. This was like a little before Berkeley and I was still in school and I, um, in like middle school and I, um, I was like, I want to go there and I'm going to do music. And I just, I, I, because I mean, I feel like, I, especially at that time, there weren't a lot of artists. There was a lot of Indian music being sampled, you know, in music at the time and pop music. And, but there was no face to that. Right. And so I... I was like, I want to be that. I feel like, You're I mean, like, I was, I'm going to be that girl. I was like, and I want to be that it. girl or, and just, you know, have like, I just wanted to be a bridge that there's more people that more of us that do this, you know, we I need, we like need that. When you see somebody else doing it, a lot of the times it makes you feel like you can as well. And it's just like uplifting and supporting everyone creates that chain. Yes. Yeah. I feel like with all, with all feels, you know, whether, even if yeah. it's on the music world, if it's like female engineers or things like that, I feel like it's, it's that first step that's hard, you know, which, which makes yeah. sense. Cause you want that acceptance and it is hard, you know, for your voice to be heard. So, um, speaking of which, are there any other artists that we should be watching? Asian artists, just indie artists up and coming. Who yeah. are your ones to watch? Oh my gosh, there's a South Indian artist. His name is Ariva. Okay. A-R-I-V-U. He's super dope. And What's the vibe? It's, um, so he's like, it's folk music Indian, but it's, it's in Tamil. Oh, and cool. yeah, which is a South Indian language. Nice. And um, yeah, and his just, it's just dope. Like, he, but he still has a little swag to it. You know, it's folk, <laughs> but like a little swaggy. And yeah, he's, he's just dope. Swaggy he's just dope. Folk. Just dope. <laughs> I love that. It, New it, genre it, that I'm learning today. Dude, it, it a hyphenated is. genre. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm all about. <laughs> he's dope. And then there's another artist called A.P. Dillon. Okay. Um, A.P. Dillon, yes. A.P. Dillon, yeah. He's, oh, yeah. Oh, he's, no, he's, he just sold out like Hollywood Palladium. Yeah, like, yeah. He's wow. huge. He's, he's huge. He's massive. Um, he's super dope. I mean, you're doing it for your community, like girls uh -huh. that look like you. Like it's, I don't know. Thank you. Now's the time. And Absolutely. I guess going into that, do you have uh, someone you want to collaborate with? Like your dream collaboration? Oh my gosh. There's so many. Um, oh, uh, I would say Rosalia for sure. Mm. I would love to collaborate with Rosalia. And, I can see that. And, um, I mean, just, I mean, I feel like also production wise, I just want to work with Timbaland. I just want to work with Pharrell. I feel like. I need to meet that camp and it's very close. So it's going to happen soon. Yeah. But once it does, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> you fucking Besties. So, yeah. it's, it's, it's all about manifesting. I don't know if you believed in it. Oh my we gosh. Talk, 100%. About that. So 100%. It's a topical conversation. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I think it is. It, it really is. I mean, as people might think it's corny or it's a cliche, but I think if you truly strongly believe in it and like nothing can stop you, I strongly believe that. I'm being convinced, honestly. No, I think I have like a cynical mindset on it, but I don't know. It's it's really, but you have to really, you have to really believe mm -hmm. in it without any, not a, even a little inkling of doubt, you know? Shit. I'll work on it. <laughs> you have to let things go. No, but, but I think it's but I think it's also good to be 
realistic you know right. about certain things but at the same but it's i don't know it's it's a fine balance i feel like it's an ever evolving process that people want to get to you know what i mean that happy medium i guess yeah because you don't want to be like oh everything's perfect when it's not yeah but but if you have a goal and you or just like even vision boards and things i feel like that was a thing i feel like we like it was more scrapbooks back home but over here vision boards are such a thing pinterest makes pinterest. so makes so much changing yeah, the pinterest. fucking yeah. game yeah exactly I'm a pinterest gal all the way yeah no for sure Rock so on. do you no, have any sure. advice to anyone that's like starting music wants to go in this field i think i mean i honestly i think it's just about like the music that you want to make and that you love listening to i think it's just it's it's very much about finding who you are and being comfortable in that. And honestly, if you rock that with true utmost confidence, everyone else is going to think it's dope. I think that's really where it's at. Mm -hmm. And I'm it's like, oh my God. That's perfect that's really to leave off on. And mm -hmm. that's, yeah. yeah, that honestly, like no one or nothing else matters. It's just you being able to go to bed saying that's my shit and I did that. Like, you know, so. Another t-shirt slogan. Another shirt. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Well, this is one swash. We're joined by Malvika. Thank and you for having me. Yeah. Thanks Thank you, Abby on. and Bridget. Yes. 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 Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank I'm you. excited. Thank you.